So today I thought what we would do. Let me try that again. I was scratching my nose. So today. Wait. <laughs> Action. Okay. Hello, everybody. My name is Kelsey. I have a Chris, and we're back to get very, very dirty with first sentences. If you don't know what this challenge is, I don't know quite where it originated, so if I can find it, I'll put it down below, but I'm not entirely sure. But I have this lovely blindfold that I actually got from an owl crate. I'm going to put this on, and Chris is going to find books for me, read the first sentence, and I have to guess what that book is. We'll see how it goes. If I need some help and I can't get it, he will continue and read, like, one or two more sentences, but that's where we're at. So, ready? We'll find out. Okay. Book one. We're going to try five and see what happens. So book one. Okay. Oh, this is oddly shaped. Okay. I can't see anything, so you can go and invest in the game. <laughs> Sentence one. Sophie had waited all her life to be kidnapped. You've got to be kidding me. That's the school for good and evil. Right? Yes. <laughs> Yay! I actually knew that one. <laughs> I'm pretty so. I feel accomplished. Okay. Book two. Book two. Got one? Got one. Okay. <clears throat> Sentence number one. My eyes snapped open. Really? That's the sentence? I did not preview this before I read it. <laughs> I don't know. You can give me a yeah, second yeah, one. Th that's only fair. That's a terrible <laughs> first sentence. I'd been dreaming that an alarm was going off somewhere just out of reach. Oh, gosh. Um... I have no idea. Should I know this one? Probably. Okay. But not. You're not gonna know it from like the first, like the first sentence. Maybe not. But okay. Like. Can you give me one more? Only now, as the fuzzy room came into focus, did I realize the sound was my cell phone chirping next to my head. So I speak boy. It is not. That sounds like every single contemporary ever. A fuzzy room? You don't know, I got nothing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look, because I don't know. Oh! I haven't read that in so long. Fuzzy room? Oh, as in like blurry. She's froggy. I was thinking like the pillow was fuzzy. Yeah, I that's a rough opening. I don't know anything. I don't think I'm gonna guess. Okay. One for one. Wait, one for two. Math. Number three. Number three. Okay. <sighs> Sentence number one. Eddie's off to find his teddy. <laughs> really? I swear it's my teddy. <laughs> I love that book. I knew because it rhymed. <laughs> That's a good one. I love that book. Number four? Number four. Okay. You might have to do a few more. All right, are you just doing it on purpose? At this point, yes. Okay, you ready? <laughs> Maybe. 
sentence one. There was a wolf at the gallery door. Is that a question, Susan? It is. A <laughs> I, I, it was the wolf that got me, and I was like, pardon? Yeah, if you had continued, that's the next sentence, and it had two of the main characters in it. So, that would be good. Okay. Um, number five? Okay. Okay. You got it. Oh, dang gum it. What? Just read the first sentence. <laughs> you can go for a different one. Is it super easy? Yes. Sentence one. <laughs> okay. The Jane Austen tarot card I am holding in my hand shows a series of small images. <laughs> a young woman tending to children, fetching soup, performing domestic tasks. <laughs> I hate everything. That's for her. Oh, it's, oh, sorry. It's the Jane Austen um, among the Janeites. That is correct. Yeah, because it's such a bizarre opening. It is a very bizarre opening. It's... I was really hoping that it would be, like, a little more vague. You got really hard. I did. Okay, three more. Okay. We'll go to eight. Okay. Ready? I am ready. Okay. Sentence number one. If you are interested in stories with happy endings, you would be better off reading some other book. <laughs> That let me think it. Susan for some of its performed. Uh huh. What's it called? The Bad Beginning. Yay! Yeah, he's um he spends about eighty percent of his books telling you not to read his books. See? I'm ready. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Sentence one. Juiced had two problems. The moon and his mustache. I'm sorry, what? Juice? Is that what it's Juiced. Called? Juiced. <clears throat> I have absolutely no idea. Say it again? Juiced had two problems. The moon and his mustache. I thought not. He was supposed to be making his rounds at the Hode house, but for the last 15 minutes he'd been hovering around the southeast walls of the gardens, trying to think of something clever and romantic to say to Anya. What? Have I read this one? You have. <laughs> All I can think of is Romanoff, but I haven't read that one. In fact, I can guarantee that you've had a conversation about this book in the last month. Read the second sentence again. <laughs> he was supposed to be making his rounds at the Hode house, but for the last 15 minutes, he'd been hovering around the southeast wall of the gardens, trying to think of something clever and romantic to say to Anya. <sighs> Really? Do you want me to read the third sentence? I'm not sure it'll help, but... Sure. If only Anya's eyes were blue, like the sea, or green, like an emerald. Instead, her eyes were brown. Lovely, dreamy, melted chocolate brown? Is it a middle grade? No. Oh, I definitely read two sentences and not one. I don't think it mattered, but I, I have absolutely more than one sentence. no idea. Why do I not know? Okay, that's one more. <laughs> you looked up the book. The <laughs> 
Because my brother still has six of crows. I would never have gotten it from that. No, because the first chapter is not about any of the main characters. I know! Nope. Rude. Fine. Okay, last one? Last one. Okay. Ready? Oh, hi. You were closer. I thought you were going to be. It happens. Okay. <laughs> Mitch. Sentence one. It was five o'clock on a winter's morning in Syria. Sorry, what? Syria. Wait. No, not winter. Syria. Wait. Is that the president? Um. President is missing? No. No, that one starts with him in a mock impeachment trial. Oh, that's right. I was thinking there's a prologue. Can I have a second one? Alongside the platform at Aleppo stood the train, grandly designated in railway guides as the Taurus Express. I was like, is that the Orange Express? It is. I forgot I was going to Syria. Or that Syria. That's, is it going to Syria? Starts in Syria, I think. Oh, okay. Doesn't it? Or no, he starts in Syria. He gets on a train to go somewhere else and then he comes mm -hmm. on the Orient Express, I believe. That's so bright. Oh, man. That's pretty good. I did do pretty good. Miss two. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty proud of that one. And I only I pulled out one Jane Austen book, so... I'm impressed. Well, you probably should have st stayed away from those, like... I mean, you're right. I was If you were really struggling, mm -hmm. I was going to pull out Pride and Prejudice, because I knew you would get that one. <laughs> I felt like that's the only first sentence I like. No, no. Well, I hope you enjoyed whatever antics she decided to keep in of mine. <laughs> um. <laughs> that's, that's fair. Hope that you guys enjoyed this. Let me know down below if you have any, like books that you're like, I know this sentence like I have with Pride and Prejudice. If you like this video, and I very much hope that you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you want to be part of this awesome growing family. I've also got all my social media as well as other fun bookish links down below, so don't forget to go check all of those out, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! You're so bizarre. It's okay. I still love you. Good, because you're stuck. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs>